We've seen so many players step up and play well with Jeffrey Simmons or Kevin Byard or Harold Landry. When the Titans signed Jim Wyatt to become the senior writer editor for the Tennessee Titans in 2015, it might have been the first big move that Amy Adams Strunk made as a controlling owner. Jim had covered the team since almost the day that the team moved to Nashville, so his credibility was unmatched with the Titans fan base. Jim's presence makes TennesseeTitans.com the first stop for Titans fans every day of the year. A lot of these fans that I've known since I started covering the team, you know, back in 1999. And a lot of times I'll tell people, hey, I remembered when you first started at the Tennessee. And that's been a big part of it. I appreciate people that read. I appreciate people that are passionate about this team because they're, the, they're what kind of makes us go. So I'm trying to give people a look on what happens on the practice field. So practice observations, news of the day, feature stories, try to work ahead. And you know, a lot of days it ends up being three, four things a day you try to crank out. Jim Wyatt's work ethic on behalf of the fans is no joke. He never stops, ever. He writes three or more stories a day. He does interviews with radio shows, podcasts, and TV shows. Jim has a love for his job and a humility that makes him never forget who he works for. I don't consider myself the best writer out there, but I've always been willing to work. You know, I, there, there are a lot of other people in this market who do a great job, and now my job is to try to, to outwork them as much as I can and to try to you know, tell stories about the team and try to pump out as much information about the team as possible. And it all starts with a pencil. Jim Wyatt is famous for the many pencils that he has on him at press conferences and interview sessions. Every picture of Jim shows him with multiple pencils clinging to his ever-present visor. For Jim, it's like when he started school in the 1970s. Pencils are practical. When you make a mistake, you can erase it easy. A lot of times I keep a file on my notebook of what's going on day to day. Instead of having to start on a whole new page every day, I can use the eraser to update it. I keep it on the visor because you always know where it is. You know, you don't have an ink blemish on your pants, which I used to get from time to time. And I usually have a couple of them because you never know when you're going to run out of run out of lead. When we're out in public with Jim Wyatt, Titans fans treat him like a rock star. They love his stories. They love his twice weekly mailbags. They love him on Twitter. And they like the special touches that he gives them each week. Kind of like the now famous Britches Report. In seven seasons with the Titans, Jim's Britches Report has become an instant classic. When I started working with the team, I'd get a heads up on what the uniform combinations were going to be. It was it was uniform, and I think the first couple of times I said tights were wearing you know a blue jersey, white pants, and then I think I said blue jersey, white trousers, you know blue jersey, white breeches. I, I went through a, a long list of different descriptions for for pants, and the breeches took off. It's funny how. Uh, People look forward to that. You know, some new fans or fans that are following the team elsewhere, they see britches sometimes and they say, man, who, who uses the word britches? Jim Wyatt uses the word britches along with thousands of other words that he provides for the Titans fans every single week. He works for the Titans fans. Jim's connection to the Titans fan base comes naturally because Jim Wyatt embodies local boy makes good. It means a lot. I grew up in Nashville, went to Father Ryan High School, went to grade school here. I'm one of five, all my brothers and sisters you know, grew up here in Nashville. And you know, I never dreamed we'd have an NFL team. I covered high school sports when I first started working for the Tennessean. When I got out of college, I loved that. When the news came that the team was coming, I continued to work high schools and got an opportunity to cover you know, the NFL. And it's been a dream you know, career for me, you know, being a Nashvillian. You know, my dad, 83 years old, has season tickets. He goes to all the games. Got so many friends that are passionate Titans fans. I just have such great pride in this city and such great pride in being able to work for the, for the NFL team in this city, the Tennessee Titans. It's been a dream for me.